oh, oh, hello there. Uh, it's uh, it's Israel, right? I, I'm Dr. Nielsen. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Doc. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's it's uh, quite a cap you're wearing there. Oh, thanks. Uh, that's quite a cap you're wearing too. I'm not. I'm not wearing. Uh, yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. My pa gave me this one. Yeah. He he told me he would always let me know where I was headed. What, what, uh, what do you mean? Well, it's really quite simple. You, know, you get up in the morning and you face the rising sun, and then you know you're going east. And if you turn this way, well, then you know you're headed north. And if you go this way, well, then you know you're headed south. And if you go this way, well, then you know you're headed the wrong way. Okay, I just, I just use Google Maps. Uh, yeah, well, I guess. Wearing it on your head is better than better than eating it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we did have to eat just about anything we could find. I mean, it's not like we had a Cracker Barrel around the corner. Well, actually, we did have a Cracker Barrel, but it was full of crackers. Okay, I'm just going to make a quick um, note here. Uh, all right. So, so um, Israel, where'd you grow up? In Boonesboro, uh, Boonesboro, Kentucky. And, uh, well, I don't want to brag, but it was named after my pa because he founded it. Uh, Boonesboro, what, wasn't that founded by Daniel Boone? Yes, sir. Oh, your father's name is Daniel Boone? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, did he get teased a lot having such a famous name? Well, no, I, I reckon if you're the one that made it famous, then you don't get teased a lot for having it. I'm sorry. I, I think I got lost. Your, your father is also a, a famous Daniel Boone. Well, as far as I know, he's the only Daniel Boone. <laughs> okay, that's, this is funny because we, we, we got to be crossing wires. You're, you're not saying you're, you're not saying your father is the Daniel Boone, right? Wrong. Well, that's exactly what I'm saying. The one that was born in 1730 something? 1734 to be exact. <sighs> okay, let me just, uh, uh, do you perhaps believe that you are the reincarnation of Daniel Boone's son and experiencing flashbacks from a past life? No, 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 I, I am the original. Is Far as I know, I've been me all along. Okay, just to recap for accuracy, you, you believe that folk hero Daniel Boone is your actual biological father? Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm past believing. Oh, you can put me down in the knowing category. Okay, I'm just gonna make another quick note. You know, uh, Doc, this therapy thing, it, it sure ain't getting along very far. I mean, it, it's as slow as watching Cincinnati's pour molasses in the tavern in winter. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to <laughs> process here. So, um, so Israel, um, son of Daniel Boone, uh, <laughs> why did you want to see me? Well, it's, it's kind of like what, just happened it, it it seems for some reason whenever i tell folks about my childhood they have trouble processing it and uh, they start looking at me real weird and stuff and it it's almost like i have a, a tomahawk for a nose well i can relate uh okay then um why don't we start with some of your your early memories growing up as as, as daniel boone's son all right, all right. Well, you know, it was during the Revolutionary War. Well, yeah, of course it was. Yeah. And, you know, Pa was always helping or trying to help the Americans along. And, uh, well, that kind of really ticked off the British, but good. Uh, they, they treated Pa like he was some kind of traitor or something. Well, and there were the, the skirmishes between the Native American tribes. Uh huh. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to try to take notes. Uh, 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 tribal skirmishes. Uh -huh. Go on. Yeah, no, well, you know, the, the Shawnee, 
Oh, they were always trying to help the redcoats. And well, that led to all kinds of sticky situations. Oh, but then my paws, you know, really good pal, Mingo. Well, on the other hand, he was an Oxford educated Indian. Yeah, I know. He was, he was a really good Indian. He was Cherokee. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually uh, it was me, Ma, or, or my sister, Jemima, uh, but mostly me, I guess. Well, we'd go and we'd get kidnapped or uh, hostage or something like that, and then Paul would come and rescue us. You'd, you'd usually get kidnapped. How many times is, is uh, usually? Oh, well, crime I, That's a good question. I, I never really tried to sit down and, you know, tally it all up. Uh, let's see, do you want me to distinguish between being kidnapped held hostage uh, versus being abducted or, or, you know, just taken. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, why, why don't we just go for a rough count and just and, and, and lump it all together? Okay, and just me or everyone I knew? Let's start with you. Oh, okay, well, um, well, I figure I've been kidnapped, uh, taken prisoner, abducted, hostage, all oh, that'd have to be between. 30, 40 times. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good safe wager. Is that about average? Uh, slightly above. Um, what was your father like? Uh, well, most people would say Daniel Boone was a man. Yes, a big man with an eye like an eagle and as tall as a mountain was he. Uh-huh. Uh, well, that just seems a, like, a, like a smidge hyperbolic. How would you personally describe him? Oh, Pa. Uh, pa was the best. He was brave, smart, real family man. Everybody trusted and respected him. Well, you should just ask Abigail Adams. Uh, she'd be a good reference. The wife of President John Adams? Yeah, that's her. You know her? Well, uh, in, in a way I know her, but you know, not, not, not well enough to give her a call. <laughs> <laughs> give her a call that's a good one doc nah she's a she's a letter writer oh but when her husband was kidnapped she trusted pa with a hundred thousand dollars to get him back oh, oh I, ooh, I think my history book was was missing that chapter oh, oh if you like history pa knew a lot of famous people uh, george washington wrote him a letter once and aaron burr he even came to boonesboro Say, do you know that uh, that musical kind of thing they did about him? Uh, uh, what, Hamilton? Yeah, yeah, that's it, I think. Well, the real Aaron Burr, he was nothing like that. I mean, he didn't do no rhyming or sing talking or anything like they do in that show. Wow, how, how disillusioning. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dad also knew Patrick Henry, too. And he... Save the Liberty Bell once. Oh, and there was this time that we got to go to Philadelphia and see Benjamin Franklin. Oh, oh, he was a great chant. Yes, he was. But, but if he told you to get lost and go fly a kite, you listened. Wow, your dad sounds like he was, you know, part of the, the in crowd, you know, from 250 years ago. <laughs> Israel, uh, do you agree that um, all this was 250 years ago? Well, yeah, sure. I don't give a decade or two. Uh, do, do you have any thoughts about your father living 250 years ago, give or take a decade? Yeah, I sure do. Time sure flies. Apparently. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to get the idea that Pa was merely a, a fancy fringe buckskin wearing type of guy you don't know no, he was he was really down to earth he was he was mostly busy helping runaway slaves or keeping the peace or or making sure the shipment of guns and even cannons made it into the right hands you know that kind of ordinary stuff well when he wasn't busy rescuing kidnapped family members or future presidents <laughs> exactly you got it now Sometimes in the middle of fur trapping or peace treaties or, or keeping Minko safe from 
being accused of a crime that he just didn't do. Well, we'd stumble across a, a lost colony or a tribe or, or even some hidden treasure. Hmm. You know, there was this one time Paul was held captive in a cave with a bunch of treasure from the Aztec sun god. Aztec treasure in, in, in Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, yeah, good. I was just asking. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me about your mother. Uh, her name was Rebecca. Uh, most people just called her Becky. Oh, she was great. She was the best mom in the whole world. Uh, you know, on Thanksgiving dinners, she would invite real Indians so that we didn't have to make paper cutouts of them. Oh, you know, my earliest memories of her are in black and white. But when I remember her in color, man, that hair. I mean, she had red, red hair. Oh, mom. And, and, and your sister, uh, what was her name? Jemima. Okay, does, does Jemima talk about her father being Daniel Boone too? Well, I, I reckon so, but well, to tell you the truth, I haven't seen her in quite a spell. Well, did she pass? No, no, nothing like that. No, it, it, it's just she was there as my sister, and then all of a sudden she wasn't, and, and we never even talked about it or, or anything. I mean, it's like she was abducted by aliens. Huh, okay. Oh, well, I should probably ask. Uh, so do you believe your sister was literally abducted by aliens? Well, it's as good a reason as anything else. Okay. Um, was there anyone else that was a strong part of your childhood? Ooh, uh, Hannibal. Oh, well then tell me about Hannibal. Uh, Oh, Hannibal was great. He was, he was handsome, independent, but always getting into trouble. Oh, and he hated Yadkin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there were, there were a few people that threatened to eat him. Eat him? Uh, you're not referring to cannibalism. What? No, no. No, Hannibal was a goose, so technically, no, but, but you know, it would have seemed that way to me. Oh, I was just about to ask if Hannibal was a goose. <laughs> really? No. Oh, oh, and then there was there was Gabe. Oh, he was a big African American gentle giant, a real teddy bear, but built big enough to tackle a grizzly if he had to. And, and and then there was Josh. Oh, he was really good on the guitar and singing and stuff. But well, he gave it all up to sell sausages. Oh. Uh, do you want me to keep going? Actually, you know, I think that's a, that's a, a good start for now. Uh, you definitely sound like you had an interesting childhood back in the 1770s. But you do believe me, right? I mean, you believe what I'm saying? Uh, let's say that I believe that you believe so... You know, let's 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 embrace that as our first step. Well, okay, sounds good. I mean, it's it's nice to be believed, even if it is just by me. Well, thank you, uh, Doctor Nielsen. And uh, well, if you need any more info, you should get my book, Growing Up Israel. Well, uh, I'll see you soon. God willing, and the creek don't rise. Because if the creeks rise, it would be. Hard to get your canoe across. No, it messes with my internet. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Doc. Bye, bye, Israel. How do I turn this off? Oh, I, I was wearing a coonskin cap and I still didn't see that coming. <sighs> I have to give him credit. It's a very detailed hallucination. Aaron Burr didn't rhyme. $100,000 ransom from Abigail Adams. Huh. I'm just thinking maybe that alien snatched the wrong sibling. Oh great, I'm talking to myself again. <sighs> what was that book he was talking about?